yeah, you know, it's not ideal um, by any stretch of the imagination. Obviously, I'm gutted first and foremost, um, but I'm trying to be as positive as I can be and just so thankful that, you know, I realised my dream and I got to actually live out my dream, which was to play in a major tournament and no one or nothing can ever take that away from me. So that's kind of the frame of mind that I'm in. One moment in time that I know I'll remember forever. Um, I know in the warm up when the stands started filling up with the Green and White Army that it was going to be amazing. And I walked out and obviously my back was, was to them, but the moment I turned around and seen and heard them, I, I actually started welling up during the anthems. And I remember saying to Fernie and Chloe, you know, either side of me in that lineup, I said, I'm going to cry here, girls. This is amazing. Like, enjoy this moment because it will live with us forever. And, you know, I'm just so glad that I got to actually experience that moment. I knew straight away, you know, there's plenty of times where I'll, I'll go down and, you know, I'm straight back up again. I'm not one to sort of stay down, but I knew this one was different. I felt something go straight away and, you know, I'm banging on the ground because I knew what had happened. And I think I was angry, I was frustrated, but genuinely I was heartbroken too. And I think the physios and the medical staff have ran on and I've just said, I'm not even going to try and get up here, guys. I need to get off. This isn't good. And, you know, I think you could see in my face that I was distraught, I was heartbroken, and I was. And, you know, we went inside and, um, yeah, I just knew the reality of the situation. And I knew that my tournament was over. I knew this was a serious injury. And, and obviously that was the case. But, you know, I've had a couple of days now to kind of reflect on it. I know it's going to be a really long journey ahead, but. You know, I'm a positive person, I've got really good people around me, I've got a great support system in the girls and I know that I'll get through it and I'll come back stronger than ever. You know, that night, it was, it was heartbreaking for all of us. Obviously I was distraught but my teammates really, really felt that for us as well and they were there for me which I think was what I valued the most. You know, I needed them there and they were there in their numbers and they'll continue to be there for me. Um, like you've said, a lot of the girls unfortunately have gone through this and as bad of a situation that that is, it's great for me to have that support and they were just there for me and I, I really needed that. Um, and they said, you know, if you, if you want to cry, cry, we'll cry with you. And, you know, I just really needed that. Um, obviously, I, I was heartbroken, but I could really feel that they were heartbroken for me as well. And um, they're just a great group of girls to have around and I'm, I'm so blessed. To, have them with me, especially in, in the short term, in this immediate time when I'm really trying to come to terms with the severity of the situation. You know, I know it's going to be a real long road ahead, but if I've got girls as supportive as that around me, then I know that they'll, they'll have my back and they'll be with me every step of the way. You know, I just think that night, obviously, when I see my parents and my brother, um, and obviously Mark, my husband, it was just, you know, everyone was genuinely heartbroken for me. and. You know, I think we all just had a moment together, you know, where we were all just sort of crying, but I've kind of tried to be as positive as I can about it. And I've said, look, we're all here, we're all together. Let's enjoy the rest of this tournament. It's still, you know, we're still at a major final here and I'm going to try and be the biggest fan for the girls as I can be and hope that they can still get the enjoyment out of the rest of the tournament as they can. But. You know, they're, they're gutted for me, but I know that they'll be with me every step of the way through this as well. If there's one bit of advice that I'm taking on board from the girls, it's that it's going to be one heck of a long journey, but take small steps every day. You know, set yourself small targets. And, you know, obviously I've just signed with Aston Villa and I'm already feeling such good support there from the club and the staff. And I know that they'll be with me every step of the way to guide me through that process. And, I'm already feeling such warmth from that and I'm really excited, you know, to join up with them and, you know, I think I'm okay now in the short term because I'm still here, I'm in the bubble of being here, but I think when I go home it might start to sink in a little more. more. And um, But I like to think, you know, I'm a positive person, um, I'll get through this and I'm a big believer that these things are meant to happen for a reason and, you know, I hope that I'll come back stronger, faster, fitter than ever and that's what I have to believe. and taking small steps every day to do that. If that's what it takes, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I adore playing for Northern Ireland. It's the greatest honour that I ever have. Um, and I'm just so thankful that I get to do it. 
and that I got to do it on this stage and I think of course it's going to be so special you know putting that back on and crossing the white line and just having the fans and the support I know that they're going to be with me every step of the way through this as well so um, you know I have no doubt that I will get through this and I'll have them all behind me and when the day comes that I can step across the white line again that will be a really special moment.